Welcome back to Summit. We would like to show you how to winterize with the pig filter. The first series video that we released was just general operational principles, how to use it. Might, might be a little bit messy. This one's gonna be more refined because we have winterized material. The material that we're using was previously in the other videos uh, brought down with uh, a low micron paper and scrubbed at room temperature. So the procedure to doing this is resetting the system again. And then what we have to do is pull cold ethanol out of the deep freeze and cycle it through the system to bring the temperature of the system down so it doesn't act as a heat sink and uh, warm the system up. And then we're gonna flush it out with fresh, clean, cold alcohol to get all the oils out of your waxes and your lipids. So we'll start now with uh, assembling the unit and preparing it. So now we have a stage two loaded in here. It's about eight microns. Uh, they're a little less, but we rate about eight microns. And we're gonna start taking the first bucket of cold alcohol. We're gonna fill it into the system and then we're going to run it through until it chills the system out. We may need to use two of them because it's a little bit warm today, but then we're gonna drain that out and go straight to winterization. Crazy. All right, so now we have this unit loaded up with uh, stage two eight micron paper and we're gonna start the compression sequence. We have to run it with alcohol. Uh, so we're gonna use alcohol to actually pre-chill this whole system out. And while it's happening, it's gonna start shrinking. So we're gonna maintain the, the plate pressures. And after the alcohol has pre-chilled the whole uh, setup, we're gonna drain the alcohol out and then start winterizing our product. The first product that we worked with was warm temperature, low micron winterizations, which is basically a room temperature winterization to try and scrub out all particulate so it crashes out a lot better. And we have everything here in this freezer and we're gonna start going now. We're gonna take it to about 6,000 PSI. We'll, we'll start at 4,000 first and then we're gonna freeze it out and then it'll eventually hit 6,000. Takes about two and a half gallons for this thing to fill up. That's about 6,000 PSI. Now let this thing ice up. Now we're gonna drain the system out. Look at how even there, and that's gonna be our first feed. This one first, it's fine. Now we're gonna re-engage with our waxes, with our wax material. Show the flow, show them the flow. All right, so now as you can see, the plate system's relatively loaded and there's more pressure. So we increase the pressure on the compressor. Okay, now we have to flush all the oil out of the system so you just retain your white fatty waxes. So we go back into the original cold alcohol and we push it out so the liquid's clear, right? Can you show the liquid? We're gonna watch the liquid go clear and that's gonna tell us when we're done. It's really fucking cold. All right, and now we're gonna push everything out. And we're at about negative 70 when we started, so this is really cold fluid. As you can see, we're like iced up here. It's a little bit more, we're at 6,000 PSI. 
and we're about clear now. So wait for the system to come apart, then we take it apart and we're going to show you what's inside of it. How much is really caught at this speed. So we're pulling about two and a half to three gallons out of the system. That's the mass of the system. Now we're going to show you guys what happened inside of this unit at negative 70 winterization temperatures at these speeds. Now what's really cool is your system's going to come with a drain trace. No matter what kind of mess you have here, at the end of the day, all it takes is a hot spray bottle of alcohol. And you spray everything down and it rinses into the drain and out of the system. So let's start checking the plates here. We'll start with the beginning. I right, start, start with the ends. We can move this down a little bit more, a little bit easier. So here's the end plate. And as you can see, uh, it does catch some stuff right here. This is the stuff that bounces around that protects the papers from getting logged instantly. And now we're gonna start with the papers. So this is gonna be really interesting to see what happens here. Let's bring that table over just for this time. So we'll start with the last paper in the, in the unit. Second to last, you can start seeing some real build up here. Let's go ahead and bring those over there. Again, completely layered at high speed filtration. Same thing. And as we get closer to here, we're gonna start seeing actual cake on the plate. You can see just a little bit on here, not much. Here. They're really, really fucking cold right now. So it's kind of difficult to deal with. And as an example, we just ran uh, what was stretched out about 20 gallons, maximum 20 gallons of fluid uh, through this system, maybe even a little less. Start pulling. What we're doing is we're taking the system apart to show you after you drain it without a hole in this tray exactly how much fluid is lost in the system, which is almost nothing. As you can see, I can barely even play in the alcohol right now. Now to clean this, normally you can pull all the, pla uh, you can pull all the papers out and you rinse it with alcohol on the top, hot alcohol. And the alcohol will basically flush all this through into the drain and out. So you don't actually need to take this apart. We're just doing this for demonstration purposes. And we're just gonna keep getting loaded papers here over and over and over. The loading is getting thicker and bigger at the, towards the end. We're about twice the thickness here. What's really interesting is you can load these plates up with almost that same material to the top and the system will continue to operate until it's completely loaded to the top. A little bit thicker here, a little wetter. But it's also very cool that we flushed it out with clean alcohol, so you don't have much oil here. You can see there's very little residual here. Even this cake, when it's dry, will turn pretty much white. I mean, it's, it's just gooey on here. And that's it. And as you can see from the demonstration, there's very little alcohol in here. So once the system is drained, the loss is almost none. This trait is a demonstration trait. It does not have a, a, a drain in there, but if it did, all this would just go to a, a, a gallon jug and it would take a while for it to pile up. And as you can see, uh, there's no, uh, no misrepresentation of the temperatures. This system was at negative 70 when we started pulling fluid out and it's warmed up a little bit, but this fluid did ice everything over and it still operated flawlessly. So if you guys have any questions, please call us. We're more than happy to help you get going with these types of filtration speeds. Thank you.